everybody, my name is Rocket and you're watching Rocket in Vermont. I am back in the beautiful town of St. Johnsbury to tell you about all the beautiful, delicious, scrumptious food in this town. Right behind me, we have Anthony's Diner, which is a classic diner spot, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's been here for a very long time. Now, I wanna give a quick shout out, a thank you to Tim Scott Real Estate, who helped support this video. Tim Scott Real Estate and I have a mutual shared interest, which is to see St. Johnsbury thrive. So thank you, and let's get into the video. First things first, let's talk parking. St. J can get a little bit crammed on Main Street. So if you come out here and you're looking for parking, there are these lots that are tucked off of Railroad Street. Now to the food. Moving right over here, we have Cosmic Cup Cafe, which is a very hip cafe. They also do very delicious lunch. Scooting this way, we have the Kitchen Counter LLC, which does breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Just next door, you have Boxcar and Caboose, which is a bookshop with a candy shop called the Hobo Candy Stop, as well as coffee to order. Scoot it up this way. We have Central Cafe. They do breakfast and lunch over the week and dinner on the weekends. One thing that I really like about them is that they have low seated tables, Oriental style. Moving on. Just across the street from Central Cafe, we have Whirly Gig Brewing, which is brand new and they've just started a food program, which is pretty cool. And on this side, you have Kingdom Tap and Table. The tap room, which is downstairs, focuses on craft beer and just creating this very casual, warm pub space. Upstairs, they have this restaurant, which focuses heavily on more of a casual, fine dining experience. Now, all the way over here on the north end of Railroad Street, and I say that because it's like a two minute walk, it's very, very accessible, is Bull Bakery, which is a local fan favorite and something that I shouted out in the last video because I just admire how this young couple, Katie and DJ, have built this incredible institution here from scratch over the last couple of years. Let's keep moving. Moving around the corner to Eastern Avenue, there is the Star Theater, which has yummies, which has ice cream and quick bites, hot dogs, chips, things like that that you can bring into the movie theater, which is old school and awesome. Over to my left, you have the Whiskey Den, which is a cool locals joint on the weekends. And over here to the right, you have St. Johnsbury Distillery. They are most well known for their rum, but they also do a gin and they have a tap room inside. And just uphill of that, you have Salt Bistro. They are the only place in town that serve Mediterranean inspired food. Now I know there's a lot going on down on Railroad Street, but up here on Main Street, there are food places too. Down at the corner, you have Eastern and Main, which is a deli and a convenience store. Right here to my right, you have Pika Pika, which is Filipino cuisine, an authentic spot to come and eat. Now everything I showed you is within close walking distance of downtown. And if you head north just a little bit, you have Naturally Provisions, which is right here on the edge, which is a grocery store. You have Super Spice, which does grab and go sushi. And you have Kingdom Crust, which is, big surprise, a pizza place. Just around the corner here on Portland Street towards 89, you have Locally Social Cafe, I think they just started a nonprofit to do something to support the community, which is pretty cool. And you have Papa Tarosi's Pizza and Fish Shack, and they seem like lovely people. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me today in St. Johnsbury. If you want to know more about food and drink that's happening all around the state of Vermont, check out Eat Vermont. You can find us on social media. You can go to eatvermont.com. My name is Rocket. You're watching Rocket in Vermont, and I will see you in the next town.